Bisbee table. Uh, I ordered uh, the freaking chicken. And then I got some uh, hot and spicy pickles. Uh, love my pickles. <laughs> um, just did the mine ride here in Bisbee. Um, incredible experience. My next, my next place will be right across the way here. It's right there at the Bisbee Museum. I will be doing that right after this, after I eat. And then uh, give you a little, a little tour of downtown Bisbee. It's um, such a unique town. Um, it's it's hard to describe Bisbee. Uh, I think Tombstone gets more. It is more known. Tombstone is, I think, than Bisbee. But Bisbee is. It's literally 11 miles from the border, Mexico border, American border, and um, it's about 25 miles, I think, south of, of T Tombstone. And it's such a unique town. It's um, it's hard to describe. There's so many different um, buildings here. It's more, um, I want to say more European which is odd, but um, it makes sense here. It's so beautiful. Bisbee's um, elevation's uh, 5,300, and the landscape is totally different. Uh, a lot of mountains. Um, you, you, uh, this is the place known for its stairs. So it, you have stairs galore here. Everywhere you go is stairs. So. It, if uh, you have uh, disabilities, there's a limited amount of uh, areas you can go unless you drive, if you have access to drive up there. But downtown Bisbee here is, uh, is amazing. I got a fly all over me. Um, anyhow, um, yeah, I'm going to take you down to the art area, uh, which is right around the corner from the museum here, the old post office here. It's funny about the post offices, they don't deliver mail. You have to go and get it yourself. Um, uh, every building here is unique. It's all different colors, bright colors. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a coastal uh, town, but it's here in the high desert. Um, it's such a unique town. I, I recommend, highly recommend being here for at least two or three days just to spend time here. Uh, there's so much to do, a lot of things that are not expensive. If, if you are into art, uh, there's tons of places here for art. If there's uh, places you like to go to breweries, you like to uh, uh, drink and stuff like that, uh, there's great places here for that too. Uh, the amount of restaurants here are, are amazing. You don't find the uh, the McDonald's and uh, Burger Kings and stuff like that here. It's it's all locally owned stuff. It, uh, it's it's just uh, such a unique and special place. Uh, I highly recommend coming to Bisbee and spend some quality quality time. I will be back here definitely uh, more in the future. But um, I just want to share that before we. Before I eat lunch, um, but uh, yeah, I'll give you guys the tour uh, after after I eat, uh, and the museum. The museum is pretty cool. Already did the mine ride. Uh, I have uh, multiple generational uh, family members uh, that have been in the mines and are currently in the mines, and uh, it's dear to my heart. Kind of in my blood, even though I never mind myself. Um, hard work, man. It, these towns are so, so amazing. Uh, a lot of these towns uh, were founded on because of mining. Uh, most of the West was either done by that, or if it was by uh, locomotive uh, building the railroad, either or. Uh, that's how the West was spread. So, all right, here it is spicy pickles Just give it a try made right here in the restaurant a little 
little salty. Which pickles are normally, and there's the cake. Pickles are a little, uh, a little thinner than what I normally make mine. But man, I, these are good, good flavor. Yeah, you get that saltiness that a normal pickle has, and then you taste the dill, and then the heat comes. Um, see a little bit of the pepper on there. I'm going to save some of these for my chicken. Thank fly. <laughs> Sent by a window. You can actually see the dill, dill on there in the spice. Four dollars. The atmosphere here at the Bisbee table is it's great. I love the decor. Of course, a lot of the copper. You got some of the finished and raw copper look, and even the fans are copper. Copper town. You have the brick going into the kitchen area. Lots of pictures. Try not to get patrons in here, but yeah, the bar area. A lot of a lot of copper. It's cool to see. All right, here we go. It's a chicken sandwich with a bunch of yummy stuff. Uh, and sriracha ranch and fries. Let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. My chicken sandwich. Fries, sriracha ranch. Let's give that a taste first. Pretty good. Uh, we got tomatoes, onions, more of their pickles, additional pickles. Thank you. Uh, the chicken. And then underneath there, this is like a sriracha ranch mixture with jalapeno slices. Buttermilk batter. <laughs> wow, that's actually really good. Has a little bit of a kick. Jalapenos give it a nice kick. I like spicy food. Uh, as long as it tastes good. I'm not into this like heat where you can't taste anything. <laughs> but I do like uh, some spicy food. Really good. Okay, just ate there. And 
now I'm headed to the museum right here.